Hello and welcome to my geekiest video since the Lord of the Rings video. Today we are doing the Elder Scrolls map, the entirety of Tamriel. We did a Skyrim video one time, which was a much bigger version of Skyrim here. And we've also used my Somerset Isles map a couple times, not as Somerset Isles, it's just a good map. A couple people are always like, this looks like Somerset Isles, and I'm like, it is. But today we have a map that's the entire continent, complete with all the different regions. We got High Rack, High Rack. We got High Rock, where the Bretons live. We've got Skyrim. Skyrim is for the Nords. Hammerfell, where the Redguard lives. Cyrodiil for the Imperials. Morrowind for the Dark Elves. Black Marsh for the Argonians. Elsewhere for the Khajiit. I just put Dwarves because we don't have cat people in this game. And Valenwood for the Wood Elves. Somerset Isles for the High Elves. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to give each kingdom one or two traits that relate to their race. And then we're going to let them go and see who's the strongest. So let's start up here with the uh, Bretons. Now the Bretons are sort of like the business people in a lot of ways. They're like they're big craftsmen, merchants, you know, they're chatty. They've got a little bit of magic in their blood. So let's go ahead and give them, I'm going to say genius, because that makes a lot of sense. And then, I don't know, one more. Let's give them golden tooth. I actually am not 100% sure what that does, but it does seem like a wealth type deal. So let's go ahead and give them that, make sure they all got it. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, onward to the Nords. I think if you played Skyrim, you have a pretty good idea what they're like. So we're gonna give them tough and strong, maybe? Cold resistance? Yeah, let's give them freeze proof. I don't know if that'll actually help them at all. Let's just give them tough and strong. There's not gonna be any cold. And eh, what's the harm in giving it to him? We'll give him a third trait. Skyrim is for the Nords. Okay, Hammerfell is the Red Guards. They are like pretty proficient fighters. They're pretty strong and fast. So I think I might just give them that. I'm going to give them strong. No, I'm going to give them veteran and fast or agile. Let's give them agile instead of fast. There we go. Boom. Okay, the Imperials. So I'm going to give them greedy for sure because that's sort of their thing. They're definitely a very experienced and militaristic kingdom. Let's give them greedy and then a, we'll give them a really good one. Let's give them Kingslayer because greedy is kind of a bad trait. So we'll give them Kingslayer to kind of balance it out. There we go. And it's not because they slay kings. Kingslayer is just a really good combat trait, which I think that they deserve. Okay, Dark Elves. So the Dark Elves are sort of like the deadly race. They're very attuned to magic. They're pretty much good with melee, with ranged combat. They're good at it all. So we're going to give them, we're going to save Eagle Eyed for one of the other elf races, but we're going to give these guys, I think I want to give them Bloodlust and then a really good combat one maybe dragon slayer again not because they slay dragons but because it just adds a lot of boosts to them so let's give them some combat and some bloodlust okay the argonians i'm actually happy we had the diversity crate mods so we could actually put lizard people in here that actually works pretty well they're more like stealth they're kind of like thieves not all the time but often you know they're scouts they're kind of like magic-y people so i don't know how we're gonna do this but i think there's no like stealthy trait of course but I think if we go let's give them agile and let's give them let's give them lucky so if like that you could almost think that that's sort of like a thievey type thing you know just kind of just kind of pretend with me is that good enough lucky and agile I think that's gonna have to be good enough yeah that works for me it's not gonna be perfect there we go uh, okay we got the Khajiit just pretend these are like the cat people and not dwarves. I just figured I had to put someone here and I wasn't going to put orcs, that's for sure. These guys are definitely fast. I'm going to put deceitful in there too because I feel like they're usually like thieves. They're big on like sleight of hand and stuff. So let's give them fast. Let's give them deceitful. And they are pretty strong too. So maybe I'll give them strong or is that too much help? Although deceitful is kind of a bad trait. So let's give them strong. You know what? No, let's give them agile and fast. Yeah, I like it. Really speedy boys. Uh, okay. Okay, we got two more. We got Valenwood, which is the Wood Elves. The Wood Elves are definitely going to get eagle-eyed because they're very skilled with bows and stuff. I feel like I should give them fast as well, but I think that I have given everyone fast. Let's give them genius. Honestly, all the elves in the Elder Scrolls universe are all very smart. So we're going to go ahead and keep to that theme and give them that. Okay, lastly, we have the High Elves. These guys are definitely going to get genius. 
but they're not as much like bow users. They're more like magic users or like swords. So we're gonna give them genius and tough maybe. Yeah, let's do that. Genius and tough. There we go. Okay. The traits are just for a little added extra spice here. It's not gonna matter that much, but I like to I like to give them all their own individual personalities. All right, let's see what happens here. Let's go five times speed for a moment. Finally, now I get to talk about Elder Scrolls while we wait for this to happen. So Skyrim, great game, right? Can you imagine that came out a 11 years ago and that's been remastered like a bunch of times and re-released on every platform a bunch of times since then i think i think i've bought that game like at least four times on different platforms i feel pretty stupid about it you don't gotta make fun of me my favorite however was oblivion which takes place here in cyrodiil and holy smokes i know that game came out even longer ago and i was like i don't know 12 when it came out i played the crap out of that game and I still love it. It's my favorite Elder Scrolls game, and it always will be. I went back later on to try to play Morrowind, because everyone said that was the best one, but I think it really is just whichever one you play first, like whichever one came out when you were the right age. If you didn't get into it when it was new, it's a little hard to get into now. And honestly, the same thing could be said about Oblivion. If you played Skyrim first and you go back to Oblivion, it might feel like a step backwards. But if you started with Oblivion, whew, Skyrim in some ways feels like a step backwards. Skyrim does a lot of great stuff, but there's some things that I like more about Oblivion. People are theorizing that the next Elder Scrolls game is going to be up here in Hammerfell because it looks like a kind of sandy coastline in some clip they showed, which is like the only place that there could actually be like uh, this sort of land on the coast so you know people are theorizing but who knows dude it could be anywhere also i feel like i should connect this it was a little bit cheap but i want them to be able to move over here to vardenfell or whatever it's called vardenfell i don't know also in case you're wondering yes there are orcs in the elder scrolls world but we are not doing them here today because a they don't really have a kingdom or their own region and b they're super OP here in World Box, so they would just ruin this whole experiment. But I had definitely thought about putting them up here because this is where Asinium is, which is like their main capital. But even still, it's not really a region. It's just like a stronghold, like a big stronghold. Um, so it's not really worth it anyway. Oh, Morrowind declared war on Black Marsh. Cyrodiil has declared war on Hammerfell. Okay, so it begins. Cyrodiil has declared war on Morrowind. Why did they declare war on two things at once? Okay, they're working quickly here. Let me just show you my rules really quick. I have rebellions off, and I, but I have angry villagers on. So that way the wars won't go too quickly because the villagers will help defend. I personally am rooting for Cyrodiil to win, but I know that since they're in the very middle of the map, that's going to be a little bit rough. I'd be happy if Skyrim wins as well. I feel like that would be a win for all of us. Valenwood has declared war on Elsewhere. Okay. Elsewhere is not doing well. They're not doing well at all. Cyrodiil has declared war on Elsewhere. Why are you guys at war with three people already? It's been like, it's been like two minutes. Okay. Yeah. These two down here kind of have bad land. So I feel like they're going to get knocked out pretty quick, but who knows? Maybe uh, elsewhere will take over Valenwood. Wouldn't that be something? But that being said, I'm going to say probably not. Whoa, Hammerfell's destroyed already. Dude, Cyrodiil just wiped them out quickly. They had a little bit of a slow start because their land is kind of bad, which is, you know, accurate. Hammerfell's not a great region to live. Uh, Skyrim has declared war on High Rock. Skyrim has also declared war on Cyrodiil. Dude, this is getting, this is getting spicy. Like, everyone's at war. High Rock has declared war on Cyrodiil. My man. Okay, this is, uh, this is Skyrim. Skyrim could have a very good chance. Skyrim being kind of up in this upper region. You know what? Maybe they'll just keep pushing on downward and killing everybody. Look at them go. This is the uh, revenge they needed. Morrowind is just getting pulverized over here. They are down to 20 population. Looks like the uh, Argonians. The Argonians have made their way up here and they're just destroying everything. Down to 30 population. That's good for the Argonians because they might be able to actually get some new land. Although, what's this? Morrowind is making a move too. Cyrodiil declared war on yet another kingdom, making it so they're now at war with five of the seven other kingdoms. Not a great plan. High Rock has been pretty much pushed out of their starting land into Hammerfell's land, and now they're about to lose that too. It's not looking good for them. Skyrim is doing so well. Yikes. What did I give them again? I gave them strong and tough, didn't I? Yeah. Oh man, Cyrodiil is getting destroyed. High Rock is hanging in there. I feel like Somerset Isles needs to be a little more aggressive. They got this little corner out here, like one of the worst spots you could set up camp, but you know what? I'll power to you. Hey, leave my Cyrodiil alone, okay? Okay, seriously, 420 to 20. If High Rock can just keep 
this upper region for a little while longer and Skyrim can just get busy with everyone else, although they're being smart. They only declare war with the two next to them. Unlike somebody, dummy, what an imperial thing to do, you know? What an imperial thing to do. Now, what would be cool is to place a couple of these fire towers down to be like the oblivion gates, but uh, nah. Morrowind is down to eight population. Not looking good for them. I don't know why they're even still here, to be honest, but you know what? I'm proud of them. The uh, Argonians are just like watching Make sure no one leaves. I think the last people are just like boats, probably. Okay, Cyrodiil is just about to get wiped out. Oh no, I can't bear to watch. King Beg of Cyrodiil was eliminated. He begged for mercy. Okay, I have not seen the official word that they're gone yet, though. High Rock made peace with Skyrim. Doesn't look very peaceful to me. What the heck? Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, this is Somerset Isles. I was like, this is, <laughs> they're both green. It's like, oh, that does not look very peaceful. Okay, Somerset Isles is out here destroying High Rock. Bretons versus the uh, High Elves here and the high elves are just s overpowering them so quickly way to go elves okay kingdom of cyrodiil is officially gone skyrim just declared war on somerset isles who was getting a little too greedy out here taking over a little too much land okay morrowind was wiped out at some point they're officially gone i'm down for this you know skyrim taking the win this is like the game everyone probably knows the most so you know what we gotta give our boys a win. But in the story of Skyrim, the Imperials from down here in Cyrodiil have kind of made their way upwards, and that's what the whole story of the game is the Stormcloaks, which are like the locals fighting against the Imperials who are trying to basically colonize the north up here. So they got revenge in this video. They got to just wipe out the Imperials like first order of business. So what a nice alternate history. The Argonians traveling north to wipe out the Dark Elves is kind of a funny thing to happen as well, but I am all for it. The uh, elsewhere, Khajiit, I don't know why they're still here. Somehow they're still hanging in there. Good for them. We need Valenwood to actually do something. They like haven't really gained or lost like any population or land. They're just like stuck in the corner. If they could just take over this region, that'd be great for them. High Rock is about to be gone officially, looks like. It just got a few buildings and a few boats left. Rest in peace, my Breton boys. I think I usually played as a Breton when I would play Oblivion because they've got good benefits. Okay, who's here? Who's this? Is this Skyrim? Yep, Skyrim's here. They went all the way across the water, destroying uh, Skywatch, I think this is called, this region. First hold, but they went to the island, not to the mainland. Here they go. We got one, <laughs> we got one guy coming in to save the day. Let's go, dude. Let's see what you got. It's Oh my gosh, that's Ulfric Stormcloak. No way. Wait, are they at peace with Valenwood? Oh yeah, they are at peace with Valenwood. They're trying to get across. I don't know why he came down here though. What a boring life. Okay, again, Valenwood is like here, but they're just not trying very hard. I know they got this water blocking their way, but like, come on guys, find a way around it. Also, I don't know where any of the people that live in elsewhere are. There's like maybe one guy, there he is. There's the king, the one guy. If they kill that one guy, I think that's the... The region is gone. Okay, Skyrim's at 640. Oh, what's this? Somerset Isles, doing some damage. Good for them. Cutting off their food supply down here in Hammerfell. Is this Hammerfell? No, this is uh, this is Anvil. This is, there's uh, Kvatch to be like right here. Anvil will be like down here on the coast. Oh, what a good time. If you played Elder Scrolls Online, that game takes place over most of this map. So like Glenumbra is like over here somewhere or up, up here. I don't remember. Over here? I don't know. Dagger Falls over here. I don't know if that's a thing. Um, Dragon Stars up here, kind of here. You've got all that goody goody. You got Riften. Riften would be here. You know, you know, you know. Okay. Skyrim declared war on Black Marsh. Looks like elsewhere might actually get eliminated now. Come on, boys. There we go. They're gone. Black Marsh. Not doing too bad. They're up to almost 300 and they've got a bit of new land But unfortunately the timing is not great because Skyrim has just declared war on them uh, So I don't know if they're gonna have time to expand but that might give Valenwood uh, a chance to take over this region and perhaps an opportunity for Somerset Isles to rebuild themselves, but it's not looking good. Also, Skyrim's declared war on Valenwood as well, which I think means they're at war with everyone except for Elsewhere, which is gone. I don't know why this is still here. Which means they're at war with everyone. Elsewhere is gone, but I guess there's a boat left. Okay, well, hey, if everyone's against Skyrim, maybe we could have a little bit of a back and forth here, but they are also just really, really strong. And if they take over the Somerset Isles, then that's bad news for everyone. Look at this giant 
giant right here. This is Skyrim. Holy smokes. It's Ulfric Stormcloak. Is that how you spell it? Ulfric? It is now. Okay, Ulfric, do your thing. He's so big. Why is he so big? It's just the giant trait. Does it really make you that big now? That's crazy. He's like three times their size. All right, whatever. Okay, Skyrim's down to 600. They were at 700 a minute ago. It's not much, but it's something. Black Marsh up to 300. There's all these little conflicts going around the whole region. Valon went up to 200. Somerset Isles is definitely going to go soon. I think the only reason why they're still alive is because they got all these people on the island over here that, that Skyrim hasn't figured out how to get over there yet. We got Black Marsh at 330. Oh no, why'd you declare war on Valonwood? You guys got to team up. Don't do that. The lizards, if you haven't watched my videos of them before, they're not particularly that strong. They don't have a ton of health, but they have a lot of damage. So they could, you know, they could give Skyrim some trouble out here, you know? If it's not too late. But they're up to 360, and Skyrim is down into the 500s. So if this keeps going this way, this could be good. Although, unfortunately, we got Valenwood moving in now. Making a big move with quite the sizable army. So that's going to be bad news for our Argonian friends here. Here we go. We got a little conflict going on. The elves also. So have the elves do low damage but have a little bit more health so they're kind of like the opposite of the, of the argonians but it looks like they did make quick work of them because numbers do win wars you know that's kind of a bummer they actually might have had a chance there but now i'm not so sure we got somerset isles over here fighting the nords goodbye oh they just made friends somerset isles and skyrim are now allies see if skyrim attacks valenwood and then black marsh just takes over skyrim and then skyrim uh i mean i'm rooting for skyrim but i'm also rooting for the underdog you know i like the argonians too i think they're cool black marsh up to 400 i'm actually kind of i'm kind of team argonian right now I, I kind of like where this is going we got a good thing going on here yeah look at them they're like being so aggressive they're traveling in such big groups and since since they're fast, I feel like they're able to take over sections of land before Skyrim can even like react to it. And Valenwood just made peace with Skyrim. So now it's kind of a 1v1 here, which might be bad for Black Marsh, but they've actually been doing pretty well despite everything. So I think if they could just wipe out most of Skyrim's armies. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Here comes Ulfric Stormcloak. Oh, there goes Ulfric Stormcloak. Nice. Okay, they just allied as well. So there's no wars going on. Oh wait, Black Marsh and Valenwood are still at war. Okay, so Black Marsh needs to take them out or make peace, but kind of preferably take them out because they're just kind of being annoying at this point. So I say we get rid of them. Yeah, that's what I say. I think they've got a little more... Uh manpower or should i say lizard power i think they might actually be able to look at these moves they're making they're making some big moves valenwood does have this pretty big army kind of on the front line so they're gonna have to get through that first come on boys be aggressive let's see what you got no not just don't send five at a time send the whole thing no stop that's not gonna work okay they made peace i keep forgetting that somerset isles is even still here they're kind of you know not here in a way but you know what they are all right we'll give them a couple years but then if nothing happens we'll make everyone declare war on everyone so that we get some uh so get things rolling here 750 to 500 the argonians are doing pretty good look at that they made their way around the little river here around the imperial city and they've got some land out here and elsewhere they just need a you know just give just you know just just drop a nuke right here that's all you gotta do just drop a little tiny little nuke i know it's tempting what if I just, what if I just, what if I just, I'm not going to. I would never, I would never, come on. Doing an Elder Scrolls video, start dropping a bunch of nukes, and then sneakily turn it into a Fallout video. That'd be awesome, but not today. Oh, Valen Wood has just declared war on Skyrim. Okay, that's going to end very poorly for them, I think. But it might weaken Skyrim a little bit in the process. Yeah, Skyrim's just got a lot of armies. Looking good. I'm sorry I didn't really root for any of the elves very much. I don't know, the elves are cool, but in Elder Scrolls, I don't really like care that much for them. I love all their glass like weapons and armor. I think it looks cool as hell, but I don't know. They are what they are. But Skyrim, oh, the might of Skyrim. It also looks like the uh, giant trait has gotten passed down to a lot of them. So now they're even scarier than they were before. They're just super strong and big. Let's go, dude. Wipe them out. They're like not even going to lose any population over this. Oh yeah, they're definitely not. Okay. And they just declared war on Black Marsh. Ah, oh, man. There was like some potential there for a moment. They just left Skyrim alone for too long because they have too much land. I feel like their opportunity was earlier when all three of them were at war and they actually were, they were actually were weakening Skyrim and catching up to them. But now 
Skyrim is a beast that I think cannot be tamed at this point. Unless the Somerset Isles decides to do something, you know, anything, literally anything. They have not done anything in like a hundred years. Oh man, okay, well let's go ahead and um, let's throw Sonic Speed on here because this part, I think we kind of know what's going to happen, but and I like to watch this in fast motion. So Valenwood is going to go pretty quickly. Yeah, look at this. Skyrim is hovering above a thousand, about 1100, and Black Marsh is dropping pretty quickly, although now they're kind of holding the line, but it ain't happening, boys. I'm sorry. I like my little lizard people too, but uh, they just don't have what it takes. Somerset Isles, do something. We got Black Marsh down to 150. Ooh, they got this sneaky little cheeky little island over here. They're gonna live forever. How is Valenwood still alive though? With all those armies that were here earlier? How do they still have a hundred population? Do they like just leave? Somerset Isles population went up. Oh wait, um, I don't know where that fire came from, but there was fire. Okay, now they're down below 100. Sky, look at this army, dude. Wherever this army goes, destruction follows. Here it comes. Oh no. <laughs> Here it comes. Look at this. Yikes. Yikes, dude. All right. Well, that's going to be it for them, probably. Yo. Okay. Somerset Isles is getting attacked by Skyrim. That's probably going to do it. This is... There's not a lot of places to go on this island. It is time to say goodbye to the High Elves. More like the Bye Elves. Am I right? Like B-Y-E. Like, like High Elves. Bye Elves. You know, you get it. Pretty funny, right? Valenwood's getting destroyed. And Black Marsh... Dang, they're getting destroyed like in sync synchronized destruction. Valenwood is just getting pulverized. Look at these armies here. How much population they have now? 2,300. That's crazy that, it, like like I said, it was like almost close for a moment where they were kind of doing some work against Skyrim. Skyrim was getting weakened. It looked like maybe it could turn around and then they like left them alone for like a couple years and they just doubled their population and made stupid amounts of armies. That is it. Black Marsh is gone. I would say most of us can be happy with a Skyrim win. We all like Skyrim. And, um, you know, I'm a little sad that the Argonians couldn't clutch that win, but I also didn't really expect them to. But GG, all the same, to our boys, the Nords, the Stormcloaks, done it again. That was fun, I like that. I always enjoy these like maps from other games type deals. So this was definitely one that I wanted to do for a little while. And um, ever since I got that diversity crate mod where we could actually do lizard people, I was like, well, now it's definitely time because now we can actually put Argonians in here. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Smash like if you liked the video and uh, subscribe if you have not. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know if there's any other game maps you'd like to see me do. I'm always down to try that. I think these are fun. So drop your comments down below, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>